Hey YouTube, it's Georgia for Beauty and the Budget in part two of my wig try on series. And this one, we will be trying on a nice little Brazilian Remy number. Her name is Pinkberry. <laughs> so you see, I'm already ready set to go because I have on my wig grip. Uh, I had tried it on in part one. So this is my wig grip because as you know, I'm on the baller side of life. So I'm going to be trying on a short little number. As I told you, Pinkberry. And this is the box that it comes in. It's from the Saga Brazilian Remy line. There you go. And the color is in 1B. It only comes in 1, 1B and number 2 because remember that these are uh, natural colors, right? And then this is what the stock card looks like. So it's perfect for persons who want something nice and cute to throw on to go to work. You see me here combing something nice and cute to go to work. Something that they don't have to think about is low maintenance and who are we kidding, right? It's already low, so I, I have that part knocked out of the park. I don't need to cater or anything. I pay. <laughs> Hush for all you long hair people out there. I can, I can boast now. But let me show you what the inside of the cap looks like. Now the inside of the cap, it, as you can see the back, it has, it's from their shake and go line. So it's from Saga, Saga's shake and go line. And it's literally what it says. Shake off the hair, put it on, go away business. No, there are no combs. There are no combs at all. It's meant to fit snugly on your head. And there are only the straps. So only the straps and these are adjustable. So if it's too loose, you hook it a little tight. If it's too tight, you pull it back a little, right? So the little hooks are there. And it's a mesh lace. Well, not lace, but it's a mesh kind of construction. It's a mesh cap, right? But the hair is human. It feels good. And the top, the construction, you can see what the top is like. It's kind of like a chrome construction if I'm not mistaken nice little dome so it's not it's not too bad so moment of truth let's put on this baby and see what it look like and this will be my first time wearing a short wig because everybody that knows me you know I want to wear the big wigs okay all right I'm putting it on over there. okay so this hair wig will need a little bit of styling let's see let's see if we can work with it remember what the stock card looked like hold on hold on all right so guys me and this earring again i don't know this earring is gonna be famous all right so you know those razor combs the ones that the, you can take one of those and just trim it down as you feel like. I didn't get the chance to get one. But this, this is not bad actually. It has a little potential. So you get your razor comb and your mousse. The hair is very pliable, very stylable. I remember that it's human hair so the world is your oyster. You can use your curling iron on this one. I well, when I, I used to wear my hair like this at one point when I was relaxed. And I used to like to put my part right here. Now there are no parts in this wig, but it's a it's a little pixie. Pixie cut. So what a thing, tell me. I'm gonna put on about my earring. <laughs> you know what? Let them stay off. At least we can't see the wig. All right, hold on. Let me put on about my earrings. I can see better with them because, as you know, I've taken off my glasses. So, yeah. So this is what I would call my Monday morning wig. Your Monday morning or your interview wig. All right, let's see what the back looks like. Oh, we'll stay around here. 
It feels like it's linked. Flat. This is what the side looks like. Now for me, for styling, I am definitely going to be taking a razor comb and, you know, kind of making it kind of more jaggedy to my liking. That's a whole nother video right there. But yeah, and then I can choose to not do the part and just put it there, pull it up a little bit. All right, tell me what you guys think. I am so not used to short wigs, it's not funny. I am so not used to short wigs. So, tell me what I think. Right now, I'm just feeling to get a razor foam. But it feels good, and it was very affordable, and the fact that it is human hair means I will have it for a good long time. I don't know, it's kind of giving me some little um, Tony Braxton vibes. Breathe again. What do you think? You know, Tony Braxton on the song, Breathe Again. Yeah, she used to beat this style all the time. Now, for styling, what I would do, as I, uh, in addition to the razor comb, I'd probably use a little tops of Gorilla Snot just to style and, and sculpt. The sections like these here, these little curly cute areas here that I want, but don't use too much because you don't want to weigh down the hair and have it looking gunky. And then you can tie your headband around the base of the cap, around the base of the wig for like two minutes or three minutes, and it will mold it to the shape and and, and style that you want. But I don't know, I could I could I could get used to this. Like, you guys can see like I feel like a full whole alien right now in a low, low hair because this is not me but tell me what you think if this wig has any potential and the funny thing is I have it on but I haven't even tightened it at all so it's not tight it's completely at the farthest setting so yeah it, it feels it feels good it feels snug and, and and i feel like if i tightened it properly with the way i was supposed to yeah it would it would it would it would be a nice comfortable snug fit so tell me what you think and let me know what you think of this one in part two of my wig series and just to recap this is the saga brazilian remy hair pink berry all right in number one b and you can get her at sam's beauty all right so check it out and tell me what you think tony braxton out. <laughs>